if you want to know how you can change your config settings from this to these pro ones watch the video till the end and i'll show you step by step how you can reach it what's good with chamami i'm back with another banger so in today's video i brought to you guys the ultimate csgo config for 2022 let's get straight into this but before we continue here's today's sponsor this video is sponsored by skinport the easy to use skin marketplace where you can buy and sell your csgo skins for the best prices this skin is way cheaper on the side if you will buy them on a steam marketplace so this way you can save a lot of money the site got over 500,000 skins and they are expanding every single day it has a 4.9 star of 5 and trust pilot link in the description make sure to check it out boom if you're new to the channel i'm making csgo related content so if you're interested in i will leave a playlist in the description so you can actually check that out by yourself i'm making guides and tutorials so i'm trying to help the people out if you want to see more tutorials like this consider smashing a like button and subscribe it also helps me out a lot all right so the first thing that we are going to do is set up our launch option so this is a very useful one i will put everything on the screen that i can this will be a more detailed video than the previous ones on my channel so first thing that you need to do is open up your steam find csgo in the library click on it right click properties and in the general you will see launch options right here now we are going to put some comments here that will boost your fps and make the game more optimized and the game will run more smooth everything will be in the description and in the comment section as well it's going to be pinned so you can guys just copy and paste everything i do click on this little bar right here and paste this comment now there will be a comment threads six now i got six cores in my processor and i put a six there so how you can find how many cores your processor got so right click on your desktop click on task manager click on performance click on cpu and you will see the course i have six so i put six in the threads but if your processor got 16 some amd processors do or yours got four or six or eight just put that amount there make sure you check this before you do anything so I put six here because I have six just to clear things up. All right, boom. Once you're done, close this, close the Steam. So the second one is set up our NVIDIA settings. So I will show you the best settings right here as well. Right click on your desktop. If you got an NVIDIA card, it will be pop up like this, the control panel. If you got an AMD card, don't worry. I try to do a video about that as well. In the future, just stay tuned, drop a like. First thing that we are going to do is right here. Click on adjust image settings with preview. Click on use preference and it will be in the quality. But if you got a bad PC, if you got a weak PC, uh, put this down to performance. It will boost your FPS a lot. Click apply. Next thing, manage 3D settings. Just scroll down here and you will see texture filtering quality. The default will be on quality, but if you want the best performance, the max FPS, you can juice out your PC, put this on high performance or performance. So I'm gonna put this on high performance. Change resolution right here. If you have a 144 Hertz monitor or like a 75, 240, you can click on the refresh rate and just change it right here. If you didn't know, just check it out. Sometimes you might think, oh, I got a 60 Hertz monitor, bro. And you check these settings and it turns out you have 75 or 144 and you, you're playing on 60 Hertz for the whole entire time. So check it out. It might works for you, not not. Boom. Adjust desktop color settings. Scroll down and put the vibrance all the way up to 80. So this way you can see the enemies more better. You can see through the molotovs and smokes and things like that. I'm gonna put this back to 50 just because of the video footage. But if you're playing, put this to 80. Also, I made a video. If you don't want to use this, you want to use the NVIDIA GeForce Experience Game Filter thing. I made a video in the past couple of days when I show you how you can install it and set it up step by step. I'm gonna put this on the screen. You can guys check it out as well. It will be an apply button right here click on it once you're done close it and let's hop on csgo so boom this config is going to be set it up from the scratch so everything will be shown in the video first thing click on the settings menu click on the video and right here if you want to make your game more brighter click on color mode 
put this to television and put the brightness up to 130. Apply the settings and this will automatically help you see the enemies better. Now aspect ratio, a lot of pro players playing 4x3 with black bars or with stretched because it will make the enemies more bigger and it will also help you gain more FPS rather than playing a 16x9. If you want to have more FPS and if you want to make your enemies more bigger then put this on 4x3 and the resolution is 1280x960 or 1280x1024. Choose one, click apply, I'm not gonna apply, put this back because the footage will be, uh, you know, kind of broken. Display mode, put this on full screen because if you keep playing on full screen window, it will have a little bit of latency and then you don't, you don't need that. So in the advanced video settings, global shadow quality, leave this at high, Moto texture details, high, texture streaming, disabled, effect details, medium, shader detail, all the way up to very high, boost player contrast, this is a very, very useful thing. I highly recommend to put this on enabled because this will also help you see the enemies better. Multicore rendering enabled, multi sampling none, FX AA disabled, texture filtering mode trilinear, vertical sync disabled, motion blur disabled, triple monitor shade disabled, and the last one disabled as well. Now listen, this is the best settings right here. If your PC or laptop cannot handle these settings that you can see on the screen, watch these two or three videos that we'll show you. I'll show you guys some FPS tricks, how you can boost it with pretty much a few things that you need to do. The fourth thing is the workshop maps. These are the most useful things in the video in my opinion so i will link them in the description just click on it you need to sign in with your steam account and scroll down you will see a big subscribe button click on it and this will be the config generator the next is the crash z view model generator click on subscribe as well right here and the third one is crash z's crosshair generator again click on subscribe restart your game so once you're in the game Click on right here, workshop maps, and all my maps is loading right now. You need to scroll down and find your maps. Let's start with the view model one. Just click on it, click on go, and it will be starting up for you. So we load it in. You guys can see this is the default settings, default config. I will make it look pro for you. Put the view model movement to lowest. You can, guys highest bro nah that look gay for me bro i don't know i don't like it put this the lowest put the fov to the max you know you guys can see some popular players view models so you can just click on it and it will be changed up for you it's crazy bro nah this one cool this one i like this one we're gonna use this for the video but you can change everything right here you can put this left hand right hand how you want it and yeah that's pretty much for the first map we on the crosshair map so if you turn left you guys can see some popular players crosshairs on the wall and how you can apply them just shooting that shit so you can just go out and test it on the bus right here you can choose one from the wall or if you turn left again, you guys can see Mr. Maxim Sparkles and all these big people. Crossers on the wall. Shroud. Shroud Crosser is good, actually. Or if you don't like none of these on the wall, you can just create your own by choosing the style. Click on this each one. Make the color for yourself. And in the Crash Z, config generator pretty much we're gonna set up the binds the recommended things and the hud and the radar so let's get straight into this so the first is the jump throw i've tried to put everything on the screen for the meaning so jump throw select key just shoot it and you guys can see bind jump throw 2 just select alt click confirm now you got a decoy you can test it hold your left then press alt and it will be throwing the perfect grenades for you every single time you do this open console we did this clear decals very very useful one select key i will personally i will put this on mouse tree now what this do is you guys can see some blood and some 
bullets in the holes so once you press mouse 3 everything will be cleared jump and scroll enable so when you scroll down or you scroll up you will be jumping it is very useful if you want to be hop on the maps you know also if you don't like it just shoot it and it will be disabled for you so in the recom in this section set up the audio by applying this the net graph if you want to see your fps and if you want to see your ping and the latency tick rate and everything you guys can see i got like five six hundred fps so that's pretty good and the fps boost if you want to juice out more fps from your pc or laptop just shoot this please restart the game after changing the settings so do that in the config section you guys can see you can choose from various popular players like Nico's config rain config all of my sir you can do it by simply shooting the person choose a color personally I would choose dark blue or red both are pretty good in my opinion but if your favorite color bro is purple then choose that let's go from down HP MO style you guys can see down there if you change it, it will give you a little bit more space down there. So it's easier to, you know, see how many HP you got. Team numbers, enable this. Very, very useful. So you don't have to count how many people are alive in your team. Score position, I will put this to bottom. And make it a little bit smaller. Uh, around like this. Yeah, this is perfect. Now on the radar, put the center to off. And leave the rotate on on. Make the size a little bit bigger. Zoom out a little bit. This radar is cool. Pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section how is your config look like. If it was helpful. If you got any more ideas, any suggestions, how can I improve my videos? Please let me know as well. If you got any questions, just let me know in the comment section. I try to reply to every one of your comments. Check out the playlist in the description. Drop a like. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'm raining them out. Let's get it.